Hey guys, Sam from Amphis Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. Okay, so if you are new here, every Thursday we have a regular segment here on Amphis Makes. That segment is called Time of the Week. Thursday. <laughs> you literally just burst my eardrum. Thank you. Um, Tile of the Week Thursday. What is that, you ask? Well, Backlash July, I was gifted this. Look here, 100 Crochet Tiles, edited by Sarah Callard, with lots of designs from lots of different people. And when I was opening said Happy Mail, without thinking or doing the math, I said, I'm going to make all 100 one a week until I've done them all, not realising it's going to take me the best part of two years, over two years, in fact. Yet here we are, guys. And fun fact, a few other of our content creator friends and non-content creator friends yes. have decided to jump on the Tile of the Week Thursday bandwagon and they are joining in on this journey with us, which we are so, so overwhelmed and thank you for um it was never meant as a crochet along it kind of turned itself into a crochet along and it is amazing that so many people want to do it with us um we are currently on week week 36 sorry <laughs> Easy for you, so. i am a little bit distracted and i will get into that a little bit later but yeah, I am not on full cylinders at the moment, so I do apologise. We are currently on week 36, and that is the Estrella tile. Now, the Estrella tile should look something like this. It is a pattern by Julie Yeager. She requested four different colours and a four millimeter hook. She did hers in sport weight or a four ply for us in the UK. We predominantly have DK, which is three weight or Aaron, which is four weight scraps. We are using our scraps from our scrap bin. So Mike and I both used DK or three weight and we both used a four millimeter hook. We will get onto that in a second. Mm. <laughs> um, Mike, show them yours. So I used the four millimeter clover and more, and this is what mine turned out like. There you go. There's lots of blues and a bit of grey. The colours are a little bit a little off, yeah, not too a little much. Off, but not too much. The the, the aquary yeah, minty like a, one is like a spearmint yeah. aqua type. And the blue is not that light it's a bit no it's a bit, bit more turquoise bit more turquoise than that yeah. but yeah other than that i use three colors not mm. four we both um, use three colors not four because one color was only used once yeah and if i show you using hers it is this blue ring here which is only a smidgy darker than the rest of the blue mm. So we just decided to skip the fourth colour and yeah. just stick with the three colours yeah. this week. And working it up, I was okay until, well, I'd say it was okay all the way through and it, yeah. it worked out all right. Um, but I did get a little frustrated about halfway through. But I think that was just me. I think I just didn't want to do it. But... We're persevering and we're going through them all. Yeah. I forgot to mention on last week's episode, last week we had to do the invisible join every mm. colour change. That gives a much neater and crisp finish. So yes. there are merits to doing that. However, what a faff. <laughs> um, so this week there was no invisible join. It was just the slip stitch join and Mike and I can progress through these tiles much quicker when it is a slip stitch join. So that worked in our favour. I was a little bit put off with um, some of the special abbreviations in the fact that she calls them two double crochet cluster three group and two double crochet cluster five group. I went into a little bit of a, but I don't know what that is. However, the beauty of this book, guys, 
is you get the written instructions, but you also get the chart or the diagram. Mm. And for me, when the written instructions are not clear enough, I go by the chart and the diagram. So that is amazing that they include that because depending on which way you prefer to read patterns, you should be able to go through these tiles fairly easily. Yes. There have been a few where there have been a few hiccups and the instructions aren't that clear. Hence no. why I rely heavily on the diagrams and the charts now because I do not like how some of the patterns are written out. This is my tile. I used a um, baby pink, a plum purple, and my green, it's looking more blue, but it is more green than that. So mine is like the pastel version of Mike's. Yes. So Mike's is slightly darker, mine's slightly lighter, but they are much more green than they are appearing on camera. Mike's tension has got uber tight <laughs> and I think I am actually relaxing my tension a little bit. I'm not as tight as I once was because the size difference <laughs> is immense to be is fair. quite um, considerable. <laughs> so our tensions are now completely different. There was a stage where we were similar and now I've gone big and Mike's gone small. But you know what? We both we both did it. We both got the um required result. Yep. Mike did question why and if I show you on the back why we had to do these chains on the back. Now these were acting as bridges so that we could get this pink colour here over and behind that middle purple section so that on the front this purple section stands alone and the pink frames it in just the corners. If you didn't jump and bridge the gap on the back you would have got pink stitches around the purple and then green stitches around the purple but they did anchor the two bridges together I don't know if I'm showing you that very well. So yes, there is a bit of a thing. So I wouldn't recommend maybe if you were turning these squares into, say, a baby blanket because little fingers and toes might get caught. But just as a decorative piece, it is absolutely fine. And it also made Mike understand the construction of some of these things a little better. He now understands why we bridged on the back. Mm -hmm. couldn't quite figure it out to begin with but now he knows and I do like that we are separating the colours and to be fair it is quite a pretty tile I think by the time we got to this purple the last purple on mine um, and it was more of a diamond shape before we started squaring it off I did say that I quite like them as either coasters or we could add to them and make them as placemats if we did them in cotton rather than acrylic because we are both using acrylic scraps. But in reality, guys, Mike and I are only going to be making one each of all these tiles because we've got a hundred to get through. And now mm. that it's square, it's not really the look or the vibe I was going for. But that's fine. Absolutely fine. So... Other than the explanation of the bridges, we got through this pretty okay. It yep. was one of the nicer tiles to do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, now the thing that is distracting me and upsetting me a little bit. You might remember that last week I promised to use the brand new Omi Hook or Omi Hook that my beautiful Christina from Bella Uncinetto bought me as part of my birthday gift. And I did. And it worked absolutely fine. Would I rave about them and suddenly go out and buy 20 million of them because they are the bee's knees and the be all and end all? No. I am not a fan of resin hooks. Full stop. I can use them. I will use them. And beautiful absolutely beautiful to look at but the practicalities for me are they're just not sturdy enough and that has been proven because managed to work the whole tile 
without any issues other than the tip splitting my yarn occasionally because it is a different tip to my favoured Clover Amour. It's not quite as pointy or splitty as when I use my fouls. But I've made the tile, I put the Omi hook back in the box, put it in the bag where we keep these tiles, which happens to be this beautiful little rainbow number by Rita, Lena's Designs. Rita, she can make any bag pretty much your heart desires and she is always open to orders. If I will tag her channel link down below um, and you can go onto her channel, email her and discuss with her your bag needs fully lined absolutely gorgeous amazing little bag and it's got a nice little pocket and every week we have been putting the tile the tile book in and our tiles as we are working on them and when they are completed to come and show you this is the tile bag sorry got a bit distracted so Rita's link will be down below well worth it give her a look give her a shout mm -hmm. let her know what you need I will also put Christina's link down below as well because if you didn't know guys she's at 800 subscribers right now and she needs to get to 1k before May kind of like yes. the middle of May when her son Colby comes to visit because Colby doesn't think yarn is important Colby doesn't think yarn is interesting or crochet for that matter and he doesn't believe that any yarn channel or any content regarding our crochet our knitting our fiber arts and the stuff that we use to make the pretty things anyone's going to be interested in so he told his mum Christina that if she can get to 999 subscribers he would be her 1000th and when he came to visit in May um, he would do a live with her that was the deal he threw down the gauntlet Christina is trying to win basically and we need to let Christina win how can we have that cheeky monkey say that this crochet community isn't important or isn't interesting because it is in fact the exact opposite and Colby if you ever watch this video which you probably won't <laughs> quite frankly I love you lots and I love your mum lots but that's just rude and we need to prove him wrong guys so if you are not familiar with Christina not only is she my birthday twin and one of my yarny besties She's just a lovely, kind, generous, beautiful soul, and you are truly missing out if you are not a member of her channel. Not a member, a subscriber to her channel. So please, please, please get Christina's name out there. Let's get her to her 1K yes. to prove her son wrong. Again, sorry, squirrel. So Christina bought me a lovely Omi hook for my birthday. I said that I was going to make this tile with it, and I did. Put the completed tiles, the book, and the hook in the box back in the bag put it away pulled it out today to film and I am so so sorry we have no idea how this has happened but I cannot lie I cannot be dishonest and I cannot not tell the truth when I got the hook and the, the, the hook in the box out of the bag it rattled and I looked at Mike with panic on my face and I said, that sounds like it's broken. And it is. Christina, I am so, so sorry. It only ever got one use and it has snapped and it was a really clean break. I mean, it just fits back on there perfectly. But I don't know how it happened. I put it back in its box. I put it gently in the bag. The bag has gently been placed somewhere where nobody can sit on it, stand on it. Nothing like that. Like I said, we grabbed the bag to film tonight and we realised disaster happened. And we have absolutely no clue how it happened. Now, I am going to jump straight onto Amazon because you get Omi hooks on Amazon and I am going to see if I can get a replacement hook as soon as humanly possible because this was a gift guys and for some unknown reason it's busted because look how beautiful it was it was a four millimeter perfect size for this project it fit in my hand really nice that's how I hold my hook when I crochet 
and the tip snapped off. So guys, if you own Omi hooks, let me know if this has ever happened to you down below in the comment section. But also, I wanted to be honest, not only because I am truthful to a fault, because I could have just not said anything, bought a replacement, and nobody would have been the wiser. But I cannot do that because Christina means too much to me. And you guys deserve to know that these resin hooks are so obviously easily breakable. So if you own them, treat them with the utmost gentle care that you can muster. Which I, I thought I was doing. I was trying to. But maybe on reflection, I shouldn't have put it in the bag with the book. Maybe I should have put it away up on a shelf where it can't be harmed or damaged. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. I thought it would be absolutely fine because it was in the box and the bag was going to be put where nobody could interfere with it. And this has still happened. So be careful, guys. Don't want this to happen to any of you. And just be mindful that if you are thinking of purchasing these, that this is could potentially happen christina i'm so sorry i could literally cry i am devastated and before i even turned the camera on i looked at mike and i went what am i gonna do i'm such a bad friend and he said i'll buy you a new one it'll be fine christina won't mind it wasn't deliberate it's not as if i sat here and went oops i i don't know what happened but it happened and I always tell you guys the truth. Christina, I'm so sorry. I'll buy a new one. And I know it's not the one that you bought, but it's beautiful and I love it, but I can't use it when it's broken. So I will replace it. I'm so sorry. And we are not affiliated with Amazon in any way, shape or form either, by the way. This was bought for me as a gift, as was the book um yeah so this very awkward and upset mantha i'm just gonna put the broken hook away try not to cry on camera because i feel so awful and i think i might actually have to message christina before this airs because you don't want to watch a video and then be like oh so the present i bought you is broken brilliant wish me luck but Christina's a fabulous person, so I'm sure she'll be absolutely fine about it. Mike even said, Christina will not be devastated like you think. You're more devastated than Christina's going to be. But I genuinely have tears in my eyes and I need to move on because <laughs> nobody needs to see man for ugly cry on camera. So that was week 36. Overall, fairly simple and easy to do. I would recommend if you're going to make this tile that you follow the chart, not the written instructions. That was the main point for this week's now next week week 37 is called catalina it is another julie yeager design she wants three colors for next week and again she recommends a sport or a four ply weight yarn again we're either going to use our dk scraps or our aaron scraps three or four weight um and this is what catalina will hopefully look like once mike and i make it so do head back here this time next week to see whether we got catalina done and what our opinions on catalina are there are only eight rounds so it should be a nice a nice size and easy to power through this one so fingers crossed um special stitches or special abbreviations um oh there's a w stitch i've never done a w stitch what's a w stitch it says one double crochet chain two twice and then double crochet again so double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet and then another double crochet in the same stitch or space. We are going to have to see what that looks like, guys. Yeah. So actually, it's double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So you've got like a... So you know the V? 
you've got your two doubles and your chains in the middle well just add on another v with chains in between the three and that is a w stitch there you go who knew who knew we'll let you know how that goes next week guys um yeah so join us back here again tomorrow for crochet catch up where we literally catch you up on all the crochet shenanigans that have gone on this week mm -hmm. kind of already have with my broken hook <laughs> um saturday we are planning to go live i will have work on the sunday so it will be just our regular two hour slot um at 4 p.m eastern please do come and join in the fun if you can we love 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 our lives it is the favorite piece of youtube time and content we do with and for you guys and we really do have a lot of laughs and a lot of fun doing that so that is saturday i have nothing planned for sunday yet and then we will see you every day because every day i upload content for mountfus makes so please if you are new here look for a video every day make sure that notification bell is clicked to all because you will miss every day's video if that black if that bell isn't blacked in so like i said if you Certainly like this will. video give it a like they are free they help us out so so much yep. um yeah so i think that is about it thank you so so much for your time today we really do appreciate it we'll see you again tomorrow um Christina, I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> it's going to bug me until I get a new one. It's really upset me. Anyway, that's my problem, not yours. Let me let you get on with your day. So, guys, until we see you next time. Stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Get some good quality time in with your loved ones. Get some good quality crafting time in. We will see you in the next one. Or around the YouTube streets. Don't forget to check out Rita for her bags and Christina to prove her son wrong. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.